Okay, if somebody collapses in your presence, the first thing you want to do is to make sure that the person is conscious or not. Uh, how you confirm that is you call the person's name if you know the person's name, or you call sir or ma. If the person does not respond, the next thing you do is to gently touch, uh, hit the person. If the person does not respond, he's, he or she is more likely unconscious. So the next thing you do is that you try to lie the person on the side, the left side. Make sure the person is lying on the left side. That is the safest position I can be. And then you shout for help. Cry for help. Don't stay and be doing blood of Jesus. Don't stay and be praying. This is what we we'll do. What you will do that will uh, rescue the person. So there's something we've we'll been in medicine. It's called the ABCD of resuscitation. A is airway. B is breathing. C circulation. And D for any disability or deformity. So for the airway, you make sure that the nose and the mouth are free. There's nothing blocking them. If there's anything you see blocking the nose or the mouth, try to remove it. Lying on the left side is actually a strategy to prevent the tongue because when a person lies on his back, the tongue likely falls behind and can block the airway. Uh -huh. So if you do lie the person on the left side, if there's any obvious thing, any debris, any material in the person's nose or mouth, you try to remove it. Breathing, make sure the patient, if the person is breathing, you put your nose directly under or your hand directly under the person's nose or mouth. If there's any warm air coming out, it means the person is likely uh, breathing. If there isn't, that means the person is not breathing. You can also check the chest for any movement of the chest. These are being done very fast. Then circulation, you feel for the radial pulse itself. The pulse, likely place to feel is on the hand. You see where my thumb is, this is where the radius is. You just feel just beneath, the, around the bone, the end, ex, end, end of the bone. You might you will likely get the pulse around it. If there isn't, it means that the heart is not working. And when these things happen, you do the CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, cardio card, cardiac heart pulmonary lung resuscitation. That means you're doing the work of the heart, and the heart is not working. So you're helping the person's heart to beat, and you're helping the person to breathe while he or she cannot do it at the same time. So what you do is that you lie the person on the back, and then for an adult, you use your two hands. The palm should be on the ground and then the other hand on top like this let this the bottom of your palm be on the person's sternum that's around the middle of the chest slightly more predisposed towards the left because that's where the heart is and start the compression you do quickly get as much as 100 compressions within one minute and how you do that is that within 30 when you do 30 compressions you now um, 30 compressions you stay and do rescue breaths you put your mouth in the person's mouth and breathe in some air, then you continue again. It's been advised because it's very tiring. Get as much people that can help you when you get tired to do that too. So this is what you're going to continue to do till the person is carried to the hospital or till the person, yeah, a health worker, a trained health worker comes to take over that. That will help to keep the person alive. Please don't stay and be praying or binding and casting. Do this is going to go a long way to keeping somebody or saving somebody's life life. Thank you. Fifth shot it.